Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today we're going to take another look at relationships and what we can derive from a Baza chart. Particularly, we are going to focus on whether or not a person actually places priority on relationships or not. Because very often I have clients who come to me and say, well, it seems my husband or my wife doesn't really love me or doesn't really care about me or doesn't really prioritize our relationships. And that doesn't actually have anything to do with whether or not the partner loves you or not. Um, it relates more to aspects of priority. What takes priority in their lives? They may love you unconditionally, but it's not their top priority. Their top priority may be earning enough money to support a life with you. That again doesn't mean they don't love you. They just place different priorities on different aspects in life in order to support the relationships. So this is what we're going to look at today. Now, what you need to do is uh, plot your own Baza chart and then maybe also the Baza chart of your partner. I have the link here, the URL is there. I'm also going to put it in the notes to this video. So you can just take a look at the notes and then copy paste the URL. So what you will need to do is enter your date and time of birth. And then you scroll all the way down and at the bottom of your Baza chart, you will see this, uh, these diagrams, the 10 profile strength chart. Yeah, it's at the bottom right of each person's Baza chart. Now, uh, for male charts, we are looking at the wealth element. So direct wealth and indirect wealth. Yeah, these are the elements that we are looking at in a male chart. Uh, because for male charts or for males, the wealth element is also the spouse element. And for female charts, we are looking at direct officer and seven killings. Yeah, these are the uh, spouse elements for females. So you need to check where these uh, elements actually appear. So let's have a look here at this male uh, chart. For this male chart, you see that the two wealth elements are at the top of the chart, meaning they take superior priority over everything else. Now, wealth relates to making money, but as I said, for males, this also relates to relationships and their spouse, their wife, their girlfriend. So this particular male client places top priority on his or or on, on his relationships with the spouse or with his girlfriend um, which means that obviously there will be a very close relationship he would want to spend a lot of time with his wife or his girlfriend or his partner right it doesn't mean that both of them indirect wealth and direct wealth need to be on top as long as one of them is in the top three this would indicate that this particular male client places a lot of focus and attention and priority on relationships yeah now um if the wealth element appears at the bottom of the chart this usually then is an indicator that the person does not place great priority on relationships. Not that he does not love his spouse, but it's just not the most important thing in his life. And he will therefore um, not express his love or his affection so openly. Yeah. Um, if it is at zero, so if the direct wealth or the indirect wealth or both are down here at zero and we're looking only at the natal part here then it means that there is generally lack of affinity with the concept of marriage it again doesn't mean that this person should not get married or cannot get married but it's an indicator of probably late marriage because in the beginning in the early phases of his life uh, he may not think of it as the most important thing to do but this will then probably only come later in life. So it's a, it's a person who marries only later in life or who will um, not be very close with his wife in a relationship. Again, this doesn't necessarily have to do anything with love. It's just that they are not very expressive. 
Now, looking at the female chart here, the concept is exactly the same. You need to check where are the direct officer and where are the seven killings. If they appear anywhere in the first three profiles, then this person places a lot of focus and priority on relationships and on getting married. If it is somewhere in the middle, then it's just average. It's quite normal. If it happens, fine. If we don't, if I don't get married, that's also fine. So it's there's no stress. But if it's in the first three profiles, then it's really, really important for a person to get married or be in a relationship. It's one of their main priorities in life. Now, as you can see here for this female, uh, both the, the spouse stars, direct officer and seven killings are at zero, yeah? Now, again, this doesn't mean this uh, person will not get married ever, but again, means probably later in life. And this person is probably more inclined towards a career. Now, the interesting part with females who have direct office or seven killings at a zero is also that very often they uh, don't think that they want to have children. Because if a relationship, if a marriage is has such low priority, then very often children also um, are at a lower priority. And they just then focus on different things in life. They it doesn't mean they're unhappy. They just have a different focus. Maybe they want to focus on education, on studying, or on a career, or on their friend, their social circle. Yeah, whatever it is. But um, it's just that the priorities are slightly different. Now, what happens often is that a conflict can be seen when one of the partners has relationships as one of their top priorities, whereas the other partner has relationships at zero. Yeah, because then there's really an expectation gap. One wants the other to place a high priority on relationships and be lovey-dovey and be around all the time and express their love openly, while the other um, thinks that it's enough to every now and then um, give the partner a hug or tell them they love them. It's just not overtly so. So this is something that you need to check whenever you do a compatibility analysis. Yeah, how the, the two partners see relationships or priorities in relationships. And again, it doesn't mean that it cannot work out. It's just that you need to set the expectations. If you are someone who needs a lot of attention in relationships because you are someone who places such priority on relationships, but you see in your partner's chart, this is just not that kind of person. Then you just need to understand that you are different. Yeah. Either you walk away and find someone who is like you and places as much attention on relationship as you do, or you just accept the fact that while your partner may love you, it's just he will he or she will express it in different ways. Yeah. So this is something that you need to check before you um, start accusing your partner of not loving you enough, of um, neglecting you, because this is very often what happens here. Yeah. So have a look at that and see what your priorities are, whether they match up with your partner. And if they don't match up, then there is room for work on the relationship and maybe talk to your partner about those priorities and see whether you can somehow find a middle ground. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. If you do have any questions, please um, put some, put your comments, put your uh, questions in the comments below or um, contact me. All my contact details are in the notes and I will see you soon.